everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. So today is Monday the 5th of April, Easter Monday, and tomorrow I'm starting rehearsals for my next acting job which I am so happy about and I feel so grateful that I am going to do an acting job at this time, I can't believe it. But it does mean that I have to get ready for you know, going to rehearsal. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm getting ready for rehearsals tomorrow, what I'm packing, what I'm taking, so you guys can see and hopefully you'll find it at least entertaining, if not informative. The reason I think this might be useful is because firstly, if you're new to this profession, preparing your rehearsal bag is very personal to each person and each project, but your first couple of first days of rehearsals can go one of two ways. It's either there's lots of stuff that you don't realise that you need until you get there and you're like, oh crap, I forgot this. This, or you can go in the other direction where you over prepare and take your whole house including the kitchen sink with you and then you get to rehearsals and you're like I really didn't need all of this stuff so it will give you an idea of the kind of things that it's useful to bring or that I find that it's useful to bring for me also I think it'd be really interesting to see what things have changed and what things have stayed the same with the whole Covid situation. Obviously there are going to be some things that I'm packing that in the past I wouldn't bother with packing. You know there are some things that I'm kind of making contingencies for because I've guessed that maybe things that before would have been provided for us now won't be because of Covid. So I think that would just be really useful for you guys to see as well. Before I forget, the show of the week is the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, also known as Spelling Bee because that is a very long title for a musical. So I will leave links in the description below for you to check it out. So before I pack my bag, the first thing I need to do is pop to Tesco to get some food. And this is the biggest change for me in terms of how rehearsal prepping usually goes for me. Usually when I go to rehearsals for lunch I take leftovers because usually there will be a communal kitchen area or a microwave or something where you can heat up food. So it's like leftovers heated up bang in all the calories. With this rehearsal process because of Covid we've been told that there won't be a communal kitchen area that we can use so we won't have access to a microwave which I'm all for you know I would rather they take the precautions they need to take and minimize the risk for us and have to problem solve how I'm going to do my lunches but it does mean I need to problem solve how I'm going to do my lunches because it means that I'm gonna have to make salads and wraps and sandwiches and things which aren't usually what I eat. <laughs> I have quite a high metabolism so yeah I'm gonna have to figure this out very very quickly. I need to pop to Tesco to get some salad stuff and some snacks and lots of things to you know make sure that I'm eating enough during this rehearsal process so let's go to Tesco. A few moments later. And we're back. I can't feel my ears. It's really cold outside. The weather's been so weird. It was like boiling the beginning of this week. And now it's like winter. I don't understand. But we have food. Yay. be enough to rustle up so I can take my mask off now. <laughs> uh, I'm inside so hopefully that will be enough to rustle up a little pasta salad. I've got some leftover chicken from leftover Easter Sunday lunch so yeah that'll do me for a couple of days and then I think Josh is gonna go shopping like do a big shop on Tuesday so I'll ask him to get me some stuff to make wraps as well and then we've got pasta salads, we've got tuna salads, we've got chicken wraps. There's all sorts of things we can make, hopefully. Let's put this food away and then let's actually pack my bag because that's the important bit. While I'm in the kitchen, I thought I might as well show you a couple of things that I will be taking tomorrow that I can't like pack pack in my bag, but you know, I will be taking them. It's more of a pack on the morning type thing. So this is a little um, 
Insul is it insulated? I don't know what you'd call it, but basically it's like a cool bag. I've got two ice packy things that are already in the freezer to cool down. And so this is what I can put my lunch in to keep it nice and cool, just because I'm assuming if we're not having microwaves and stuff we can use, there won't be a fridge. And then this is obviously a thermos because again, there's not gonna be any hot drinks to your coffee. My mum actually suggested that, especially cause I'm probably, well, I'm gonna have to take cold food that I should at least take something warm, like a tea or whatever for throughout the day. So I bought this thermos. So I've got that to take with me as well. I'm not really a hot drinks drinker when it comes to like rehearsals and stuff but I do think especially because I know for the next couple of days it's going to be quite cold the forecast is quite cold so I think it would be good and because it's in a thermos I won't have to worry about it spilling which with like just kind of reusable takeaway cup type things like I've got one of those just it just spills everywhere it's just not convenient so yeah so hopefully the thermos will be better right let's go pack a bag okay so let's get packing so to start with I've got my main bag which is this backpack which I travel everywhere with this is like my go-to bag because I'm not really one for handbags they're just not very utilitarian so the first thing is a folder this is actually a folder from school that I've, I'm going to repurpose. I've just emptied her out, polished her up, and she's going to potentially be my folder for my script if they don't provide us with folders. Folders is tricky. Sometimes you get given a folder, sometimes you don't. More often I find that you don't, so it's just useful to take one just in case if you can't deal with just bits of paper. I should probably just put it in the bag, shouldn't I? That makes way more sense. There we go. It's a very wide folder. The next thing I'm going to pack is this book called Actions. Actions, the actor's thesaurus, technically. If you don't know what actioning is, that is when you give every sentence or clause of a sentence an action. The idea being that a character in a play is always trying to do something to someone else. In its absolute purest form, it'd be someone else in the play, another character. You can, depending on how the play is written, be doing something to yourself or something to the audience. But the idea is it stops you from being purely reactive and actually being active within a scene which is more interesting for everyone, especially the audience who are the people we're trying to entertain. This book is meant to be a thesaurus of different actions that you might use. It's not a perfect resource. There are some legitimate actions that are widely accepted to be actions that you can use as an actor that aren't in this book. And there are some actions in this book that you know, are questionable, but it's a really good resource. I like using this if I have a character where all of the actions that kind of naturally come to me tend to be the same to give it variety. Or if I'm completely stuck and I'm just like, I have no idea what I'm actually doing in this scene. Just, you know, being able to go back to this and just look at it piece by piece and being like, okay, what is my character trying to do? I will probably keep this in my bag throughout the rehearsal process. Even if I don't end up using it, I just like having it there. So yes. Next thing I'm packing is a notebook. This notebook is very broken. <laughs> It doesn't like stay closed anymore. I'm gonna need to fix it. I think I've got some ribbon. Maybe I'll just make it like a ribbon close for it or something. So I'm gonna take this notebook with me. I've used it for quite a few different things. Oh yeah, I used it as my notebook for when I did my death note video, <laughs> but I've also got some like acting, uh, acting class notes in here. It's kind of a mismatch. This is gonna be my notebook for this rehearsal period. Next, pencils. <laughs> You don't want to be without a pencil. I think it's only happened to me once when I've turned up to a rehearsal first day and realised I'd forgotten pencils. And that was before Covid, so I could just go to the shops and buy some. I can't do that this time, so I've got some pencils. Actually, Sainsbury's Home Pencils are legit, not sponsored, but legit, they're decent pencils for like, you know, cheek shop brand pencils. They're actually pretty good, would recommend. Next, I've got my pencil case. <laughs> this is a really tiny pencil case, it's so not useful. Also, the reason that I'm not just taking one pencil and putting it in here is that those pencils are too long for this pencil case but these have all of my pens in them. I'm very odd when it comes to stationery. I like only writing in my script in pencil, but 
I have to write my notes in pen so this is why I bought my pencil case also as you will see there are other things that I'm taking with me that I need to write in therefore I need my pencil case so that's going in there next is a highlighter now I've heard some people say that highlighting your own lines makes you subconsciously think your lines are more important than anything else going on in the play and I can see the logic but also I am multi-rolling quite a lot in this show so I'm going to need to be able to highlight when I'm talking and when I'm not so yeah I need a highlighter so I'm taking one next a bottle of water obviously and saying that, I'm actually quite thirsty, so I'm going to take a sip. Ah, tasty. Love that H2O. Water bottle. Obviously, you need one. Depending on the nature of your rehearsal process, obviously, if you're in a really, really dancey show, for example, or a really physical show, you're doing a lot of physical exertion, you're probably gonna want to get a bigger water bottle than this this is 500 ml so it's not small small by any means but it might be that you need a bigger bottle like a liter bottle yeah always pack a water bottle always make sure that it is nice and full at the beginning of the day also i'm not packing it right now but tomorrow morning after i've made my hot beverage i'm going to pack the flask that i showed you earlier and that will most likely go in this backpack as well next little massage ball i just like having this just in case i'm feeling a bit stiff and i'm like oh i just need to need to sort my muscles out especially if you know you're doing physical rehearsals i know in the afternoon tomorrow we've got a, a movement call movement rehearsal because it's so small it's just good to have in your bag i guess for me personally if you don't have a massage ball any kind of hard ball of around the same size so like tennis balls are a good one cricket balls I've heard some people say croquet balls. I mean, if you're posh enough to have a croquet ball, how about you? But yeah, just any kind of harder ball of about this size will, will do you. Boop. And last but not least for the backpack, we have my bullet journal. I take this everywhere. <laughs> Even if I'm not going to use it, I just like having it with me because it has my diary in it so any important dates we have been given a rehearsal schedule so i doubt in fact i have a spare page here from okay seagull calm down but any important dates that i need to write down or anything that you know if we're given stuff that we need to do and it's not like by tomorrow can you do this i can write it down on my task list or whatever i just i just like having it with me so we're taking it with and then this is something I don't really need but I've been getting more into creative writing and part of that process is having a writer's journal just like this little notebook that I can write down ideas or free writing or do character observations of stuff and I want to take this with me. I have no idea if I will have time to use this, but it's a small notebook, so I wanna take it just in case. If by the end of the first week of rehearsals, I'm like, nah, this is just a waste of time. I'm just better off waiting till I'm back home, then I'll do that instead. So that is the backpack packed. Next is stuff that I need easy access to while I'm traveling, because obviously a backpack, not that easy to get into. So that is where this bag comes into play, which is the most useful purchase I've ever made. So in this bag, we have firstly an umbrella because the British weather <laughs> is so much fun. Next, hand sanitizer. This hand sanitizer is actually quite good. My hands don't get too dry with this one. Even though I don't always need to use this, for example, all of the stations have hand sanitizer stations. I'm pretty sure they said in the rehearsal room there's going to be hand sanitizer we can use. They might even provide us with individual hand sanitizers. I don't know. I just want to make sure that I have hand san with me just in case I forget to sanitize at the station before getting on the tube. And I'm like, oh crap, I need to sanitize before I get on the tube. Or, you know, if they run out or whatever, just make sure I've got some with me. Next, obviously, is masks. These are just representative, but I mean, they're not. They are also masks. Because of the more virulent strains that are now out there, I personally double mask. And I do that by wearing 
a uh, surgical mask against my skin and then putting a face mask or cloth mask or covering over the top. That's just how I personally feel safest, especially on public transport or places where there are a lot of people. When it comes to rehearsals, I'll probably take off the cloth masks and also there's going to be plenty of times during rehearsals where I won't be wearing a mask anyway and, you know, just going to have to hope everyone's been as safe as I am, but I don't know. Or oh, that I've been safe enough, either or. So that is the plan. Obviously, I'll be wearing these to rehearsal rather than packing them but they're something I need to remember, so that's why they're, they're here. So I'm not gonna put these in the, in my bag. Next, obviously, my purse. Uh, need your purse. Oops. Don't think I need to explain that one. Then we've got some lip balm, because we don't like dry, crusty lips. We don't like that. So, got some lip balm. And then finally, my phone, which I'm gonna pack this and then take it straight out as soon as I finish filming this video, because I use it as an alarm clock. So that is this bag packed, and it all fits, which we love. The third and final bag is this tote bag. It might not be this specific tote bag every day, but a tote bag. This is because A, my lunch bag will not fit in this backpack, which is so annoying. And secondly, it means that I can take this. This, my friends, is the best Christmas present I ever received. This is a blanket scarf, if you can't tell. It is bright orange, you know, means I'm not gonna get hit by a car. It is brilliant for when you need to be in cold rehearsal rooms, cold rooms in general. Just if you need to be stationary in a cold room and you don't want to be wearing your coat because it's unwieldy and uncomfortable, you can just wrap yourself up in this. And then if it's a cold day, it is also like legit a bulky scarf. It's not so big that you can't just wear it like this so you look like a normal person on the street. It is so useful. I'm taking this because firstly I don't know if the windows and doors are going to be open to keep the room ventilated. I hope they are but also if the room is being ventilated in that way it's going to be cold and secondly we've been told that unless the weather is so bad that we can't be outside we have to take our breaks and lunches outside again just to make sure that we're not in a room together longer than we have to be to prevent you know, contamination as much as possible with the pandemic going on. And if I'm gonna be outside in the cold, I'm gonna need something to keep me warm. So I'm gonna be taking this. Obviously, when you're on the tube, traveling underground, wearing this gets a bit hot. So I have found over my many years that this thing has been in my life. It's just easier to have a tote bag that you can just shove it in when you get onto the tube so you don't overheat and you're not having to like try and carry this in your arms. Like if it's in a bag, comme ça. Look at me working my GCSE French. But um, yeah, so if it's in a bag like that, it's just way easier to manage. That is why I need this third and final bag. And that is it. That is everything that I'm going to be taking with me. I think I'm going to do the outro back in my chair, so I'll see you in two seconds. So that is everything that I'm taking to rehearsals with me tomorrow. The only things that I need to do is stuff that I can't do till the morning anyway, like packing my lunch, packing my hot drink need to wash my hair tonight, so that's something that I'll be doing. But yeah, that's me basically packed and done. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video or at least found it interesting. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Would love to have you on the channel. Stay tuned for more theatre content from a UK perspective and I will see you all in my next video. Bye friends!